Hey, good morning. I hope everybody is doing well and that you are continuously seeking after and waiting upon our blessed hope, our bridegroom. Waiting for that call, waiting for the trumpet to sound, for the dead in Christ to rise, and then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up to meet our Lord, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our bridegroom in the air. I wanted to uh, discuss a couple things. So, I want to talk about the revival during the tribulation, the tribulation saint revival. So, the great revival of the uh, tribulation saints will be sparked off by the rapture of the church. For those left behind after the rapture, they're going to realize of the error that they made by not following the Lord. A great revival will happen, but you also have to remember there's going to be great judgment happening simultaneously. So those who go into the tribulation, those who refuse Christ now or were not paying attention or those who allowed their light to go out, those who were uh, call, are called by the name of Christ but who have allowed their lights to go out, they will go into the tribulation and once they uh, realize of the, the grave error that they made, there will be a great revival. But again, like I mentioned before, that simultaneously there will be massive judgment coming upon the earth. If you find yourself in this situation, if you find yourself that everybody, uh, that many people that you know are gone, uh, young children, babies in the womb are, are gone, I bet you would know at that time that the rapture has happened. And I'd immediately get on my on my knees and, and beg for mercy and cry out to Jesus Christ. And because what's coming is is massive judgment upon the world. And uh, those who were not destroyed and in, in some of the judgments coming, they will have to be martyred, give their life for the name of Jesus Christ, and not take the mark. So. I suggest that while we still have just mere moments left to completely surrender your life to Jesus Christ, to open your eyes to the times which we live, we are right there, guys. I honestly do not know how much more time we have. Why gamble with your eternity? Why are you playing Russian roulette with your your very existence, with your again with your eternity. We don't know what's going to happen exactly after the rapture. Uh, you could be killed in a cataclysm. You could be killed because of the rapture. And if you're not sealed in Christ, we know where, we all know where those who are not sealed in Christ go. They do not inherit the kingdom of God. There's a reason why you were left behind or because of hardness of heart, you weren't taken because you did, you refused Christ or you just didn't believe or whatever the case may be. So the great revival of the tribulation saints will happen directly after the rapture. But don't wait. Why are you waiting for this? Why, why have you allowed your heart to become so hardened today? Please, please hear these words. Maybe you grew up in a... Um, in a religion that, that believed that we had to go through the tribulation. That's not true. Maybe you believed in a, a false doctrine that just didn't believe in Christ. And I ask you today, please, surrender your life to Jesus Christ. Maybe that's why you clicked on this video. Completely submit your life to Jesus Christ. Call Him Lord. Call Him Savior. Trust and believe in His death, His burial, and His resurrection. Trust and believe in His soon return. Please, today. Because yes, there will be many, there will be a great revival during the tribulation. But if you die in the tribulation before giving your life to Christ, we all know, again, where people go. Heaven and hell are real, literal places. And it is your choice where you go. It is your choice. 
God doesn't send people to hell. People make the choice to go to hell because God has made every provision possible for you to enter into his, into his kingdom. Because it's only by Jesus Christ. He, he has made a way. He has made a way. He has made a way. So, if you do find yourself in the tribulation, if you find that many have disappeared, please just, just surrender your life to Jesus Christ right then. And then, if or when they come to martyr you, just take the martyring. Why, why, why hide? Why go through all that nonsense? Just take death. Because once you do, when you're sealed in Christ, you will wake up in glory. I hope this message finds you well. If you do find yourself in the tribulation, become a tribulation saint. Join with those in the great revival during the tribulation, but I would not wait. Don't wait another morning, morning uh, another moment. Today is a day. Just mere moments before the end. Submit your life to Jesus Christ fully. I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. I hope this message finds you well. And I hope you truly dig into Scripture. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye.